Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Russo here bringing you another new gameplay. Uh, today we're going to do a little S&D on Scrapyard. Um, you know, I do decent in this game. I go 8-2. I think it's a pretty good record. Um, but really today we're going to explore the rush tactic. Now, I believe a great rush class at least has to have Marathon on it. If not Lightweight as well, which I have. I have the P90 Silencer, you know, Marathon Lightweight Ninja. You know, the typical rush class that you'd have if you're going to try to rush in this game. Um... But the reason why I'm bringing this up is because rushing is a lot more, you know, tactical in this game, you could say, because of the fact that the maps are wide open and it's very assault, rif assault rifle based in this game because people use weapons such as the FAMAS, the M16, you know, the ACR. They're the powerful weapons that have great distance and they can also be used up close. So rushing in this game does take more tactics than Call of Duty 4, but it's still great to do and I love it. Uh, that was my favorite thing to do in Call of Duty 4, and it's still my favorite thing to do today. Um, it's just unfortunate they took away Juggernaut, but you know, stuff happens. Um, as you can see right here, this kid is using a FAMAS on Scrapyard, which is about the equivalent to Shipment on Modern Warfare 2. So as you can see, you know, people use assault rifles on everything. Um, right here I take the same route and I throw a nice nade there and I get a nice kill. Um, I end up taking that route three rounds in a row. I only get a kill once there, but that nade really usually works out well. Then you really want to look in that airplane body because a lot of kids like to camp there. Um, I encounter a kid in the back of the map here. Um, you know, people are going to camp there. People are going to camp everywhere. You know, you just got to expect it and be ready for it. This time I wasn't and the next time I won't be either and uh, we will see that in a couple minutes. But you know eventually I get the hang of it and I win the gunfight against him uh, so right now we're up 2-0 starting the rush again you know throwing my nade again don't get a kill but you know it's an okay round um right there I see a kid rush behind the truck and I'm not gonna shoot right now but I'm gonna look at this kid make sure no one's there get a nice kill there and I hear a kid drop so I drop shot at him right there and right here boom I'm just done you know, this kid, danger close and ready, set, done. That's it. Now, but, uh, you know, he was in the same spot. Nothing I'm going to do. Can't change it. No, no need to get mad. Um, You know, stuff happens. But eventually it'll come back because I'll get him. I'll get the last left, I guess you could say. But, um, so my teammates just planting the bomb here. They eventually get the last kill. There it is. Uh, we're up three to nothing. Uh, I'm five and two right now, doing pretty decent. Uh, pick it up a little bit. But uh, right here, offensive rush, I'm going to try to nade this truck right behind the airplane body. Um, I end up getting an assist because the kid got the nade off before me, but it's all right. Uh, put out my UAV, and uh, I see a kid behind that fence, so I turn around and try to spray through it, but he's not there. He ended up moving, but I still get a nice kill right there. Um, I figured that that same kid would be in the back of the map, so I try to rush around. And I actually see him, but I run under him, and then eventually I kind of juked him, I guess. But uh, eventually I come back and get a nice kill on him. Um, so right here there's only two guys left for the other team. A couple people have left. But um, there's one guy in the right side airplane body. And there's going to be one guy in the back of the map that we don't find for about another 30 seconds. So I just saw that guy on my UAV. So I'm going to throw two stuns, see if he's still there. But um, eventually my teammate killed him. Uh, thank you, teammate. Um, so we're just going to be running around for about 30 seconds here. Uh, trying to find this kid, but eventually he mans up and gets into a gunfight, and we eventually find him. But um, the strategy I'm using right now isn't probably the best strategy to use. Um, you know, you don't really want to run around on defense. A lot of people call it camping, but you really just want to defend those two bombs. That's your main strategy. Um, even though I have a submachine gun, I should be running around, but you know, sometimes you don't know where you're going to get shot from. Luckily, you know, my teammates were pretty good, so. You know, they led me to him, and I get a nice final kill right here for a final record of 8-2. and two. Um, But, yeah, that was my gameplay, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my gameplay. Um, I hope you guys think about Russian next time you play S&D. If you have any class preferences or anything, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Um, you know, great gameplay, great everything, I guess you could say. Hope you guys have the same success. If you enjoyed this gameplay, please make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching, guys.